But Karen Morrison, uh, big news for you in your career, moving on from Worthing to York City, a big step in your career, but we'll look more at your time here at Worthing it's been a hell of a journey uh, over a long spell of time. How's it been for you, this whole Worthing ride? Yeah, been, um, the ride's certainly been a, a roller coaster. I think I am, um, especially the journey that sort of myself and, and the club has been on, it's been a really uh, privilege to be, be part of that and um, just see sort of how the journey's progressed. I think my sort of first recollections was me coming to watch the games when in the sort of the multi era, um, and I'd um, I think it was about three pounds to get in for a for a kid, and I think I was always wait till about three fifteen, um, so then the stewards wouldn't be on the gate, so I could sort of sneak in for for free and then go and spend my three pounds at Rogers Tea Hut. Um, yeah, and just to sort of see the the transition from sort of that point where you had probably. A, bird poo on, on the stand and the, and the seats and and certainly not many people sort of attending and, and the grass pitch and sort of going from, from that and then um, ended up playing with, for the under 18s um, which again sort of the grass pitch and um, from those sort of days and, and then obviously went to university and sort of in my final year at university I remember, re remember it really well to be fair um, Got a call from George Dow. I was in Chichester, uh, Chichester Hospital, uh, walking through back to my university hall, and I got a missed call from uh, a call from George, and I sort of had an unknown number. I never really picked them up, um, but I picked that one up, and sort of remember um, sort of back and forth a little bit, and sort of joked around. I was like, it's the 21st century, but still can't get any sort of phone signal, and we could barely hear each other and yeah it was that sort of started the the real journey here in terms of the the coaching side of bits and sort of invite me in to um, look at the women's side because uh, George really wanted to try and uh, sort of push that on and um, then I spoke with with him sort of come down and sort of got involved with, with Steve Hoare and it was brilliant in terms of welcoming me in and um, around like the development centre sort of setting that up and, and then working with Gary as well in terms of the, the men's first team. Um, yeah and obviously then Hinch come in and um, still sort of working with the, the women's side just sort of uh, stabilising that a little bit and it's really good to see how, how well they've sort of come on under John and really establishing themselves now um, which is really exciting to sort of see their journey as well. Um, yeah, and then obviously the, the highs and lows in terms of the first team stuff on the pitch. Um, those awful Tuesday night games away at Brighton Sea and on those horrendous pitches and um, sort of rocking up and thinking it's an absolute cow, cow field, uh, shed sort of on the pitch and yeah, to sort of um, really just putting a project together uh, and it's just sort of brilliant to see sort of how it's come along with the promotion and obviously current holders of the Sussex Senior Cup and developing the young players and sort of being part of just being able to be part of their journey to really like have a real uh, close sort of look of the ones that are currently still here and obviously the ones that have, have come in and probably had setbacks from, from pro sides and come here and just had that uh, willingness to prove themselves and gone back into the pro game and to see how well some of them are doing it's uh, yeah it's been uh, yeah, really special from that, that point of view and obviously you've got the infrastructure here now with the improvements to the stadium and yeah, just sort of reflecting on that now from where it all started with with Morty serving a bit of pasta in, in the bar and, um, and, the, and the pitch and the stand and obviously the wonders George has done sort of since he's come in sort of with the pitch and bringing a really real community feel to, to Worthing Football Club. So. Yeah, it's been a sort of a real honour and privilege to, to be a small part of that and uh, just sort of see the club um, evolve from from that moment to, to sort of this moment here, sort of current. So I've seen a cup holders and right up there in sort of our second season in the National League. So yeah, re really, uh, really exciting sort of journey, uh, full of ups and downs. It's not been a all, all plain sailing, uh, as I'm sure most Worthing fans and people that are associate with the football club are, are fully aware of um, but no yeah, it's uh, been a really exciting time sort of the last couple of years. Personal perspective for you how's that felt to be a part of that as you say it was uh, a little bit a little bit rough around the edges of this club <laughs> when 
when we know our younger days, but looking at it now and what's been achieved on the pitch and off of it, I mean, it has to feel really special from a personal perspective too. Yeah, no, no, definitely. Um, obviously really uh, grateful for uh, everyone that's sort of given me the opportunity right from from George and Calvin that sort of brought me in and, and obviously with Gary and, 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 and Steve Hoare and obviously Adam Hinchwood and <laughs> sort of kept me on and the, look, there's, there's no words to, to sum that man up. The, the work he's done from the football club in terms of the, the first team sort of staff and the infrastructure of the youth teams and just bringing that real sort of community feel. So yeah, I have to be real sort of thankful for everyone that's sort of been part of that journey and um, from that perspective. But yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, it's been yeah, really interesting, really exciting. Um, and yeah, no, I think it's, it's just been really nice to be part of it and that like that real serious nature of where we're trying to get to, but that real sort of community feel where you re really got a good balance of that serious nature and, but, and then also like having a, a beer with the fans in the, in the bar after and just being, just being surrounded by some, some really good people over the last couple of years. So yeah, no, it's, uh, it's been yeah, really enjoyable. And uh, from that perspective, uh, so yeah, it's been, it's been brilliant. What would you say to anyone that would be filling your shoes? Uh, oh, oh, uh, I'm not sure about that. Um, there would be uh, two big shoes to fill. Um, no, I, I think for me, it's. I think the. I think this this football club is just summed up by people that want to do the best for for the club and like no egos attached to it and. Yeah, just people that are like really hard working and, and wanting to to see this football football club progress and whether that's filling the water bottles up or. Or taking the first team, um, the women's side, running the bar. I remember doing that for a couple of a month or two when uh, when Calvin and Claire left. Um, for, for went on holiday for a bit. So I, I, f I think that's that's the biggest thing around the, the people around this football club. There is no egos there. Anyone will do anything just to make sure that the club is trying to progress in the best way possible. And yeah, obviously from a from a local lad, it, it's it's like lifts up five ten minutes down the road. It's just brilliant to see like the the local club with um, that real um, heartbeat of the community sort of still involved in it, and yeah, just a bunch of fans that will support you sort of endlessly, whether you you're winning um, leagues, trophies, or you're getting beaten away on a Tuesday night, and yeah, it's um, they, they've sort of stuck by. Um, Sort of the team and also all the individuals have been here. Um, so yeah, no, that would be the biggest sort of compliment I'd play to sort of the club. There's, you've got a bunch of individuals that got no e egos and will just do anything to try and um, make sure the club is pushing forward as, as well as possible.